Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of How to Dominate Your City and Local Area Leaders. Today we have an awesome guest who's been highly recommended to us, um, Audrey Fishbein with Odd Jobs Customer Interior Painting and Design. So we want to thank you for joining us. And before we get in there real quick, I forgot to introduce you and I. Again, we're Jason Richardson and Laura Richardson with Punta Real Estate. So now let's get back to Audrey. Audrey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We are super excited to have you on here. We have actually had you recommended to us through so many different avenues with like, you know, six degrees of separation. Yeah. Um, we've had your name recommended as well as social media when we've asked for some local businesses that people love and respect. So it's such a pleasure to get to do this. Oh, All right. Before, cool. before we jump into uh, your company and what you do and everything, let's give the viewers a little bit of background about um, when you came down to North Carolina, how long you've been here, and just some interesting facts about yourself. Uh, very good. I was born and raised in New Hampshire. Um, go Patriots. I know people <laughs> don't like to hear that, but, <laughs> um, and I moved here about three years ago, my husband and I, my kids, I have four children that are um, all grown, so it was time to leave the cold and come someplace warm. So um, a lot of friends had picked North Carolina, and so we figured let's give it a try. So we packed up everything and moved here. Um, it'll be three years in July. Um, I had a 20 year business with Odd Jobs in New Hampshire. So it was a little um, scary taking that leap and leaving my, my base there and starting over again. Um, but after joining, um, I joined BNI, a, a networking group, um, and my business took off right away. So um, I definitely love what I do. Um, I do all interior painting, so anything inside from tile to floors to ceilings, walls, trim, and especially kitchen cabinets. I love painting kitchen cabinets, but I can really paint anything interior. Um, I don't do exterior because I don't like snakes and bugs, so <laughs> I stay inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's more of that down here than there was. <laughs> especially down here. I'm like, I don't need... I don't need to deal with snakes. <laughs> All the social media posts of what is this snake? I'm sure you love that. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I don't want to know. I just don't want to see them. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, but hold up. You have four children. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. We're about to have our third, so we can't imagine what it would be like with four. Do you have any tips oh, or advice you can give us? <laughs> honestly, if you can get through that third one, fourth is not keep going. The third one was the one that was like, oh, you know, you know I don't have enough hear. hands. So we're here. Our, our third is due next week, so we'll see how that happens. Uh, yes, you know, we hear the third cool. is the one when you're outnumbered and you gotta learn how to play some type of defense and everything. So. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. But it's uh, having kids is the best job in the world, honestly. So, what so. was it like trying to juggle having four kids and running your own business? Like, can you give any advice, especially to mom entrepreneurs who are looking to do something similar and they're very hesitant on that balance? I think it's more of a benefit to run your own business and have kids because the best part of my business is I make my own schedule. So I can work around um, all their sporting events. That was the main thing was yeah. getting to their games on time and just working my schedule to fit my family because my family was first priority. So um, that's the best part about it. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the best thing because I, I, I used to sell auto and home insurance and work in an office and and it's just having your own business is the best so what best. what took you from selling insurance to starting your own business especially in that <laughs> uh, was there a niche that was missing up there that something you've always uh, loved and you wanted to do like how that all start um my father was a builder so I always painted and was in the construction world I love construction in general so um, from when I was married and had little, little, little kids, I always painted my own house and then painted everyone else's, all my friends' houses and all of that. And then I did that um, on the side for about 16 years. Um, and then I went through a really bad divorce. And that's when I had to really think, okay, do I go get a job job and continue raising my four kids or do I start my business? Um, that's when I got into insurance and I did it as, um, I was more fearful. Like I needed a stable income. Yeah. Um, then when I met my, my husband now, he was so encouraging to say, do what you love. You still paint all the time. You're always helping people with that. Let's make it a business. Um, and I took that leap about 
13, 10 to 13 years ago um, and went full time. And it's the best thing I ever did. So I have a passion for it. I love, love going to work. I love meeting my clients. I love working with the homeowners. Um, it's just something I just love to do. So I took what I love and I make money with it. No, no, that's, that's awesome. And that's great advice for anybody that's wanting to do the same thing. You have to do that yeah. part. It's a learning curve to it and you figure it out. But uh, so I appreciate you sharing that part. So take us through moving down here a couple of years ago and kind of starting over. Um, and kind of reintroducing <laughs> yourself in that industry. And you talk about B&I. Is that how you kind of started getting going around here? Yeah. When I first moved here, I figured, you know, B&I worked for me in New England. So let's do that. And I went to at least 20 different B&I groups. I just looked wow. them up and visited all of them. Um, doing that alone, um, people started referring me. And then when I joined my B&I group that I'm in now, um, they give me 90% of my business awesome. it comes through BNI. So that's really the only marketing I do. Um, I'm, I'm a big um, building relationship type of person. So I enjoy that part. I don't, so I don't really like networking where you're just walking in real quick and not mm -hmm. building that relationship and BNI is relationship. So um, it works very well for me. Well, I'm sure that relationship building really helps when you're talking to clients and customers about their vision and what they're hoping to get out of the whole process. So can you speak to what that process looks like? Because I, I know for me, being a layman, you know, if I wanted to paint my cabinets a certain color, you hear the color white and you see all the variation on gray <laughs> and you see all the variations. But for me, I don't even know what it is I'm asking for. So how do you take right. the idea in their head? and help build that relationship to help facilitate the outcome. Absolutely, and I think that's what sets me apart from all other painters. Um, I do all the painting myself, so I don't have crews, or and I don't plan on ever having a crew. Um, and I also only use Benjamin Moore paint. I always have stuck to Benjamin Moore, and I know Sherwin-Williams is popular and is fine, but I am a Benjamin Moore person. I love the quality, I love how the paint works. I love my Ben Moore guys. There's a relationship mm -hmm. there. Um, so I walk, I, when, the, when someone refers me, their referral is dealing with me from the beginning of the process all the way through to the end. Mm -hmm. So I can do sample boards for them. I have used Ben Moore colors. I mean, I can use other colors in the Ben Moore paint, but I can walk them through the cool whites and the warm whites and the different grays and the blue grays and the pink grays and how it's going to work in their space and what the lighting is going to do and what their overall picture is in that space, which can be very confusing for a lot of people. And I know a lot of painters just say what color you want and throw it on the walls. But yeah, that's what I was going to say is that differentiates yourself right there. Cause most people don't yeah, know. How, very much most so. painters have no idea about that piece at all. Exactly. Exactly. They may do a very good job, but to help with that fine detail, um, one white looks great in one house and not so great in another house. So um, walking them through that process and putting up sample boards um, really eases their mind because they are scared. I mean, cabinets are a big, big expense in a home and they don't mm -hmm. want to ruin what they have. So um, I really enjoy that piece of it. Um, and once they get to know me, I usually, uh, I have a lot of clients that will say, we're going on vacation, we want this room painted, and they give me the keys, and I just go in, and I move furniture, I rehang everything, so it's like a TV show. They come home, and voila, it's, <laughs> it's new, it's all put together. <laughs> so, um, it's in fun. New England, you said that you did a little bit more of the interior design aspect of it, so do you think mm -hmm. that helps in coming down here and being able to envision the whole space? so that that process was facilitated a little bit easier? Yes, and I've always had a love for interior design. Mm -hmm. It's something, I, I almost wish I went into that part of it, but I love painting so much that it, mm -hmm. this is a little different than any interior designer that's out there. Um, my husband and I are now, uh, we purchased a farmhouse in Clayton and we're gutting the farmhouse ourselves and doing all the work from beginning to end. So, you know, l um, placement of lights and all of that, I absolutely love and have a real knack for, so I can help envision that for them um, to help them see the final picture at the end. So, yeah. 
speaking of farmhouse, I'm sure <laughs> if you've been in the business for 20 plus years, you've seen some trends throughout this time period. Oh, yes. Is, oh, there, yes. is there anything <laughs> that you would say is like a classic look or something that maybe you're completely surprised is making a comeback? Because I'm not going to lie, being thinking of fashion stuff, jelly sandals making a comeback, being a 90s child, I'm like, really? We're bringing that back. So I'm sure when it right. comes painting interior design you see the same thing where there's stuff there like I thought that we left that a couple decades ago yeah gold I thought gold was never going to come back of course it's different now it's a brush uh -huh. gold instead of that bright brassy gold right. but mix mixing metals I'm like never dreamed we'd mix metals but it's it's being done and being done right um and now of course gray everyone uh -huh. wants gray that's uh -huh. been forever um and that's starting to go away so it's kind of fun to see like okay i think white walls are the new trend um white's making a big comeback which is funny because i thought i'd never see that again but um i do a lot of white rooms um painting the ceiling colors is another trend that's starting to make its way back which is a lot of fun and when done right um can look very very classic but um again done right is the key <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite type of project when you're helping a client out uh like your favorite if you could help anything i think i love working with clients that really do have good taste um their home is already beautiful it just needs to be tweaked a little bit and mm -hmm. i enjoy working in spaces that are really pretty and i and they want to listen and um Yes. are open to taking it to that step not someone so much that's stuck in the 90s with all the earthy tones and don't want to move out of that mm -hmm. uh, they think they do but they don't want to but i i just like educating them on how they can keep their personal style but still make it up to date and not like every other house that's out there do you ever so, have anybody um, that comes along sorry i thought you were done I that's right do you ever have anybody that comes along and it's just like, all right, it's no good slate. You run with it. Just let me know like, kind of what you need to work with. But I have no idea what I want. Can you help me out on that? I have had a few. Yes. <laughs> I did a house in New Hampshire with a bachelor, brand new house, and he had an unlimited budget, which was very, very nice. Oh, that helps. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he was like, I want you to redo the entire house as if it was your own. Just go in from towels to candles. Wow. everything and that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun and uh, yeah he just wanted a woman's touch so um yeah yeah those are really fun they're rare those don't come around often but um yeah i can help with budget of you know any kind um a lot of times someone might have a tight budget and will do one room at a time as they need to i don't need to come in and do the whole house um some people want to do the painting themselves so I have a small fee that I charge to come in and just pick the colors throughout the house to help it flow um, because they have a hard time with that. And I, and I do pass my Ben Moore discount onto them as well. Um, and av usually after they paint one room, they call me back and say, never mind, just come, <laughs> <laughs> just come paint it. Um, so I end up subtracting that fee for the color consult from the, from the quote price if they do decide to use me down the road. But um, I'm happy to help anyone that wants to attempt it themselves as well. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. So with um, the last couple of months, as we've had shelter in place, we've had limitations on people being able to come in and out of the homes. How have you had to transition in your business? Has it become a little bit more virtual? Or are you doing a lot more Zoom calls like this where you're being walked through um, it hasn't affected it that much at the beginning the quoting part kind of slowed way way down mm -hmm. which i was kind of fine with because it, it can be overwhelming doing the quotes and the painting um kitchen cabinets have really blown up which yeah. is funny i guess people are in the kitchen more yeah but um i thought that was funny but i I'd, I'd say 99 percent of my clients since covid and i've stayed very busy there's only been one that I had to take extra precaution, like more hand sanitizer, or um, I don't wear a mask. Um, if they want me to wear a mask, we just postpone it till this is over. I just can't work in a mask. Right. Um, but I try to accommodate um, any anything to ease their fears through this. 
but really everyone's been just come on in they're just happy to have someone to talk to <laughs> <laughs> which i think is funny because now my clients are home and usually they're not home they're at work but now yeah. they're home so i've added extra days to each job because we get chatting and we'll have lunch mm -hmm. and and it's like you know people just want to talk so um it's been fun actually <laughs> yeah. i think that's great because it I mean, it's very evident how much the customer relationship is such a valuable piece to what you do. And it seems to be very fluid. It's something that I know other folks have spoken to when speaking about you and your business. So I'm sure that that aspect of it coming in when they're there is just easy peasy for you. It's so much fun. It's so, that's, that's my favorite part because people will say to me, well, you're painting by yourself a lot and you're such a people person. Do you miss the interaction with people and you and sometimes I do you know sometimes being in a room by myself it does get a little old um, mm -hmm. but I love the relationships with my clients I mean I get invited to their kids parties and I, I build friendships with them so I really enjoy that piece of, uh, of my business a lot that's so fun. yeah I think yeah. that's kind of like a unifying theme of a lot of people that we have on here that truly love what they do mm -hmm. it's the relationship part and continuing to work with these people for not just that project but for you know the rest of their lives and hopefully getting yeah these people as well yes I have people in New Hampshire that want to fly me there to paint their new house because I painted their old house so <laughs> there um, you go. I just love that I love I just I love that I love that connection forever with people so and it's making it's also making their home their home i mean mm -hmm. it's a yeah. it's such a personal thing it's not just paint on the walls it means more to me than that it's someone's space that they have their family and makes them feel safe and comfortable so um that's a big part of it as well well and i think that's one of the values of small business is that you are truly building a community you're giving back to the community and family is such a key aspect of that so Right. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, now, as far as moving forward um, in what you've been doing, are do you have any cool projects on the horizon that you're really excited about that might be something new or different? Um, what does that look like with your future? Um, besides our besides our farmhouse, <laughs> that's the biggest project right now. <laughs> Lots of shiplap going up, so it's. <laughs> That's been a lot. I mean, it continues to be a lot of fun. Um, we're living in a camper while we do it, um, I, which I painted the inside of the camper. So that's something else I can add. <laughs> I had to have, you know, a farmhouse looking camper. I couldn't have brown. So, um, so that's, that's the biggest project that I'm really having a good time designing from right from the ground up. Um, but as far as clients, um, mostly kitchen cabinets lately. I have some big kitchens coming up. Um, so those are always, I mean, I love every project, every job I go to. It's something different every week. So yeah. Is um, it still yeah. like white so and gray for the kitchen cabinets right now? What most people are wanting? Uh, yeah, white is still, we're kind of moving away from the gray. Yeah. I think people are even saying I'm, I'm sick of gray. <laughs> um, so a lot of it is white. Yeah, and maybe a, maybe an accent color on an island or something. Yeah, um, yeah, but definitely white. See that. Yeah, some dark navy blues and blacks. I've done a few black ceilings in a room, which sounds crazy, but it's actually very nice. Um, yeah, it's one of those yeah. you definitely have to see in person, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I do, I do have a Facebook page that has a lot of before and after pictures. So. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was There's my next question: there. is so Facebook is is that your main area for people to go and check out for seeing before and after? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done a website, and I think mainly because the expense of it, and mm -hmm. it it will bring in more business. And I already book out a few months, so to take that to put that energy into a website, yeah, I don't think is beneficial for me. Sure. Um, because I wouldn't be able to keep up with the customers coming in. So yeah. um, Facebook has a lot of a lot of pictures. We'll be sure to link that for sure for people to get to. And you actually answered another one of my questions. One of the final ones was, if somebody would reach out to you today, what does it look like before? I know you can have a consult with them, but actually getting the work done about how far. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually booking in August right now. <laughs> so um, definitely people that are maybe looking to put the house on the market next year and want to spread out the budget to have the house completely painted um is a good time now yeah. um to call for that um oh. yeah if, if they want something done right away that's i usually 
can't get there sadly, but um, yeah, a few months in, in advance usually. Excellent. So. Well, so we really appreciate you doing this with us, but before we let you go, we have some final thoughts. These are rapid fire questions that we ask every guest on our show. So you're going to say the first thing that pops into your mind. I promise it's not too much of a thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure my mom's, my mom's going, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> first one is, who are you voting for? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> your hat, your, the color of your hat says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's your? Do you have a book or a Netflix recommendation um, that you're currently reading or watching? Oh, definitely book. I love books. I listen to Audible all day while I paint. I love them. And my one of my favorite books is um, The Miracle Morning. Um, I forget who it's by, but it's a quick read and it talks mm -hmm. about setting your morning up for yeah. success. And it's about um, how um, yeah, doing your yeah, yeah. It's a it's a phenomenal read. I think everyone should read that book. Yeah, and that can for sure. That's a book that anybody can justify using in their lives regardless of where you're at in your work situation it helps personal lives work family everything all the above so it's a great book absolutely absolutely so do you have a favorite local restaurant or hangout spot that you tend to go to oh i love the ugly mug in gardner it's a coffee shop okay. and it's one of my favorite favorite. I love the owner it's a small business um i also love question grind which is at carolina beach uh -huh. um, I love meeting small business owners and I love coffee. So I, I, I visit all the local coffee shops. So those are probably well, my favorite. You're leading yeah. me into my next question, which is something that's totally for me because this guy is not a coffee drinker, but how do you <laughs> take your coffee? I know, I don't think all the marriage has lasted. Uh, something's wrong with him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I used to do, well, in New England, you would say a regular coffee and that means cream and two sugars. So if you went anyway, you just say, I want a regular and you'd get cream and two sugars. But um, trying to be healthier over the last 10 years or so, I just do a splash of almond milk in my coffee now. Okay. So like an Americana with a splash of almond milk is how I usually take it. Oh, okay. I'm a big coffee yeah, I know. I'm loving this. The <laughs> <laughs> question is, do you have any advice for anybody wanting to start their own business? Do you have like a piece of advice that somebody gave you when you started? Or I know you touched on, you know, finding a piece that you love or a sector that you love and going into that. Um, my biggest advice is just do it. Don't let fear stop you. Just take that step. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, you, there's always something else to go back to, but just, just do it and surround yourself with those positive people. Um, and usually what the crowd is doing, do the opposite. <laughs> um, but yeah, just take that step. Just go for it for sure. Yeah. You, I mean, if you don't start, you're always going to have the regret. You know, exactly. You'll, that. you'll never know if you're going to, it will be beneficial, if it'll be fail. You know, it doesn't matter unless you actually take the initiative. To unless you just take that step. Yep, exactly. Well, we really appreciate you getting on with us today and answering all of our questions. Um, this has been phenomenal. It seems like you're doing so much for this area, and we just love your business model and your attitude and positivity. Yeah. Um, so awesome. Thank you. We will be sure to link your Facebook page and your other contact info down below in the notes. But thank you so, so much. Awesome. Yeah. Again, so this nice was meeting you guys. Nice to meet you virtually as well. So Audrey Fishbein again, thanks for Odd Jobs, customer interior, uh, painting and design. We'll link everything into our bios here and we'll be sure to put it on social media platforms so you can find her very easily. Thanks again, Audrey. Awesome. Thank you guys. Have a great day. You too.